guys, this is Bricks and Pieces Productions. And today, this is my first part in the series of Tutorial Tuesdays, where um, every Tuesday, I'm going to be learning a new task with you on how to get better at stop motion. And today is going to be how to do a super slow-mo. Okay, so we're in Stop Motion Studio. And right now, I'm basically just making the car go at um, a normal speed. And then I'm going to start making it a uh, super slow-mo. And right now, I'm actually just going to take out some of these clips. Because I want the car to be drifting. Because that's what it's doing right now. And I want it to go at a very high speed. So when it goes to super slow-mo, it really stands out. Okay, that looks good. And now we're going to start going to super slow-mo. So just gradually make the car go slower and slower. And when I mean you really want to do the smallest movements, I mean, I would get a flat surface actually because it's much harder to move it when there's studs because it will usually want to um, go stud by stud by stud. So do it on a smoother surface. That's what I would say for a little tip there. And you just slightly, ever so slightly want to move it. This part may be a little bit tedious and boring for some of you, but trust me, it really pays off in the end, especially when doing like a slow-mo fight scene or have more than one car. One car is cool, dude. I would start there for sure, like me. I'm actually going to see what it looks like right there. That actually looks pretty good, actually. So I'm just going to keep on doing it over and over again. And that was definitely, a, that's definitely a start, I would say. Um... It's going to get better in the end, and I'm going to go on my editing software and make it look just a little bit better after this. I'm checking the frames because I want to make sure some of them don't, like, make it um, go out of place or something or, like, go back and forth um, randomly. Um, go ahead, check out the 12 Principles of Animation, um, and it talks about arcs, and you just want to follow the same path. You want to go back and forth and stuff because that will look weird in the end. Um... But, yeah, so I'm almost done with this, and I'm going to show you how you get back to normal speed. And I'm actually speeding it up right now because this is not actually how fast I moved it, guys. So right here you can see I'm slowly getting faster. You don't want to just go slow to fast. You just want to go slow, move it a little bit more than before, and then eventually go back into normal speed. And then right here I'm starting to actually flip the car um, at the end because there's so much momentum taking them. That way, so when he stops, it flips him over. Just a little simple principle. And I, I'm speeding this up, so it won't look like that in the end. Okay, that looks pretty good. And I think we're ready to go and edit this sick clip, guys. Okay, so you're going to put this clip into iMovie, and that is my editing software that I think works best for um, all stop motion stuff. It's a really helpful software. And watch this. <laughs> So you want to have your sound on, but just to make it a little bit better, the sound doesn't slow down, but um, everything else slows down on the camera. So we want to fix that. So go right to where it goes to slow-mo. So right here is where I'd say it goes to slow-mo. So you want to split that and do the same on the other end. So right when it does a big movement, right there, go back. and That's probably a big one. So we'll do it right here. Now we're going to detach. And what that does is it takes the audio out of the video and puts it right there so you can edit it. We're going to go right here, and we're actually going to slow it down. Let's see what this sounds like. Okay, this sounds good, but we want to crop it down to fit it. Because if it's slower, it's going to take longer. But we just want it to be in this little bit. So we cropped it back down, and now look what it sounds like. <laughs> sounds much better, right? A little bit does go a long way. So I would highly recommend to use this, but you actually don't have to if you don't want to. Um, it's fine. But I think we're about to wrap up this tutorial Tuesday. I can't get over that. It sounds so good. This is Bricks and Pieces signing out. I'd like to thank you guys for um, watching the first tutorial Tuesdays. Um, go ahead and tell me in the comments if you like this series. I think you guys are. And if you guys don't, um, I won't do it, but I really enjoy it. So uh, hope you guys like it. This is Bricks and Pieces. Peace.